Well, I've got to, I, I got to ask you, because you bring up CEOs, and I want to ask you about, you know, you've known Donald Trump since the 1980s, but let me ask you about Hillary Clinton. Does she not get that, or is she beholden to interests that would have her ignore my, my friends in Cleveland? Yeah, no, I think, I think she, what I said, doesn't get it. She's an intelligent woman, and I think she understands what the Democratic Party, you know, the, the, what Obama wanted. Oh, look, Obama... He's certainly a nice guy, I guess, but, but I don't think he understands business, nor does Hillary Clinton. Hey, but neither of them ever really created a job, and, and so I don't think they understand the business climate. And what they look at is, uh, uh, or Bernie Sanders for that matter, they just look at business, and in a socialistic bent, in a way. You, you, that's why uh, communism never really worked, because people work for incentives. That's human nature, right? So you go in, and they just say, well, you know what? We'll let the government run this. We'll let the government run that. And when the government runs it, you look at education. It, it doesn't work. So the whole concept doesn't work well, what they're talking about. You, you, okay. bring up, you, know, you bring up communism. I mean, the communists are, have just endorsed Hillary Clinton. But let me come back to Donald Trump, because you, you have a relationship with this man. I mean, in the 80s, you bested this guy. You doubled your investment when you bought the bonds uh, regarding uh, Trump Taj Mahal because he was in some trouble. But you said a year ago that the reason you were backing Donald Trump, and this is a quote, because you want someone that's not beholden to an establishment. So we need a president that can move Congress, and I think Donald Trump can do it. Do you still think he's got the, the, the wherewithal to move Congress? And second part, you've said you don't want to be his Treasury Secretary. Why not if he can do this? Well, to begin with, <laughs> to begin with I, I have 10, 15 companies. I've, I've worked hard all my life building some companies up, and uh, I enjoy doing what I do. I, I think I'm late in the day for me to start going to Washington and working for somebody. But that's not the issue. The issue really is you know, I'd be happy to be in some kind of kitchen cabinet. I would never, you know, join a cabinet or anything like that. Mm -hmm. But what I will say is that, you know, you look at things simply. The reason I made a lot of money, sometimes it just hits you over the head that this is a great deal. Well, this is a simple truth. And, you know, it takes time to understand a simple truth. It's a simple truth today that we are in major trouble in our economy. Now, sometimes it takes years for that to come to fruition. But I will tell you, if you look at the numbers today, mm -hmm. with zero interest rates out there, we still can't really make profits in our companies. The profits are manufactured, as you said, by buybacks. Therefore, sooner or later, zero interest rates are just causing all these bubbles. And when I say bubbles, you know, you have retirees out there that plan on making 8% on their money. They're going to retire, go out to Florida, wherever they go, go into the sunset. It's beautiful. We worked all our lives. We have a million bucks, a half a million bucks, 300000 Not if the stock market tanks. No, so they go in and they, they can't get return on their money from bonds, right? right. Because obviously zero Six interest income, right? yeah, not or, not So they have to take the risk. They've got to go into the bubble and they buy junk bonds or they buy stocks. And one day, it's going to be really terrible for him. And I just see it happening, and I've seen it happen before. And, and, and what Trump, I think, is saying is, hey, look, we've got to rip these regulatory agencies out by the roots. Sure. We've got to give business a chance to invest. We've got to repatriate. I mean, that's another crazy thing that we've done for, for four years. You have $2.6 so, trillion dollars sitting abroad that could come back let here. Me, let, me, let me ask you, this, this is a two-part or three-part question, but let me ask this. That, that friend of mine, by the way, in Cleveland is a guy by the name of Pat Kirilko. People in Cleveland know him. If, if he can't fix it, it's not broken. But this goes to the issue that not only confronts Pat, but 3,000 people who work at the steel mill will, where he's working. How do you get jobs to come back from China? Because Pat once worked for LTV Steel. They went bankrupt, 12,000 jobs gone. And the mill got sent to China. How do you get that back? That's not. I keep hearing people say those jobs would never come back, or would they under Mr. Well, Trump? Well, I think Trump is telling you, and this is an area that I would defer to Trump. I'm not an expert on tariffs, but he is telling you I'm going to make it more difficult for China to export to us. So I'm going to help the steel mills. But I will tell you, I will tell you what I've just said to you, that I think. If you stop these crazy regulations that we have, and I mean, no. I'm telling you they're bad, and I'm going to spend time on it. That's one of the reasons I didn't go on the Economic Committee, because then I can't start a pack. Mm -hmm. But I really think for the good of this country, we are just completely, totally overregulated. We have thousands of workers, you know, bureaucrats in Washington that just regulate. They're not bad people. 
their mandate is to regulate. And you know what? That keeps, I mean, it's real simple. It keeps companies from investing. So what brings the steel mill back is, hey, you incentivize that CEO that I just talked about. Uh-huh. You say you're going to get rich because this is what people care about, right? They care about incentive. It's a game. Well, they, they, they care about incentive, but they care about their livelihoods, their standard of livings, and, and that well, their exactly. children will do better than they will.